What's up y'all, it's Keith and this is The Fragrant Life and I have been tagged. Stay tuned to find out who tagged me. All right, so I was tagged to do this video and I'm pretty sure there are a few other people who have tagged me and I'm just either not remembering or they didn't remind me of it. But if you did, please let me know and I'll get to it. Um, without further ado though, I was tagged by my guy Pine Rocks and he's from over in the UK and he was uh, tagged in a video by actually I think he said John Castro, AKA the original dog man. And he reached out and tagged me. So I am doing this video and the video is sentimental fragrances. And out of everything that I have, I only have two that are actually sentimental to me. And I'm gonna start with this one first. And the only reason why this particular one is sentimental to me sentimental to me is it's actually the only fragrance that I had at the time I got started doing reviews that performed like no other fragrance I've ever smelled or have had in my life this one lasts well past eight hours on skin and clothes it smells fantastic to me and I can't speak for anybody else, but I know this works well for me. And I'm pretty sure by me ranting and raving, you already know what it is. It is this. Club de Nuit Intense Man. And this is the clone or inspired by fragrance of Creed Aventus. In the opening, I don't really get much Creed Aventus because of the lemon opening but the dry down is where the magic is and if most people can you know stop complaining long enough to get past the opening then i feel like this is a pretty good scent now there are other fragrances out there that are better for most people but this one is the one that does it for me i don't have any complaints i've gotten nothing but compliments every single time i wear it and i actually have a backup bottle that was gifted to me by a subscriber that didn't care for it. And they generously gave me there. So this is my original bottle. Um, I don't even know how much is left. I've only used this maybe three or four times since I've had it. And I was trying to hold on to the juice as long as possible because, you know, I've heard so many complaints about the performance of the newer batches. So. I'm a, I, I've just been using the other one. So um, this is, I'm sorry if y'all hear the rubbing of the microphone. I'm trying to get used to it. My beard is long. Maybe I should have put it down a little further, but I'll check this video out, see what happens. And if I have to redo it, I'll redo it. But this is my first sentimental fragrance. Club De Nuit Intense Man. And only because it performs like none other in my collection. And this one, actually got me reacquainted with fragrances. Um, Walmart, I don't know if it's, if they do it so much anymore now, cause I don't even frequent that section anymore, but um, they used to sell a lot of nice fragrances back when I was younger, like in my teens and twenties. And one day we were walking past uh, this was, I think, I don't even think we were married at the time, my ex-wife, but I saw this fragrance and I actually smelled this on somebody when I was uh, the manager over the kitchen on the Emerald Princess Casino cruise ship here. And a guy and his wife or girlfriend, whoever she was, came in and, you know, he smelled good and I asked him what it was and he told me it was this fragrance, which is Burberry for him. Sorry about the glare, but this is definitely a signature scent. Slightly woody, um, it's 
very nice fragrance. Oh, that smells so good, man. Y'all just don't understand. She actually bought me my first Burberry fragrance. My ex-wife did. And that's why it's sentimental to me. Now, it wasn't this specific bottle. She bought me another one back in the day. And after me and her got divorced, um, the next female that I was with, she actually liked this fragrance and she took it from me. Um, I tried to take it back several times and it just wasn't working. So I ended up with a smaller bottle of this. And I think I actually sold it or gave it away, but I needed another one. And so I got this one for a pretty decent price. And then somebody, I can't remember who it was, was asking me about this fragrance. And I saw this one for $21.99. And I think this was at TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx. And it's the 30 ml. So I got it. And now I can't even remember who it was that asked me about this fragrance. So um, I guess now I have a backup bottle. But as you can see, I barely even wear this one. But I just keep it, I hold on to it for sentimental reasons. So those are really the only two fragrances that I have in my collection that are sentimental to me. Now, I could have pulled out some fragrances that were sentimental as far as like compliments uh, or something like that. Hmm, I think that would be a good tag video. Well, I might look into that. But anyway, those are the two fragrances that I came up with in my collection that are sentimental to me. So thanks Pine Rocks for the tag. Um, I would throw out a tag, but right now I'm just trying to relax on some of the tags and catch up on what I'm doing. Um, maybe catch up on some of the tag videos that I've been tagged in because I know I'm lagging. I know I got to do something for Trey. I was supposed to do something from for Chad at a gentleman's journey. I missed that deadline. Um, I think um, original dog man tagged me in something. I need to get that done. So I'm running kind of behind right now, but I'll get around to it. So if you tag me in a video and you see this video, shout me out. Let me know what the tag video was. I'll get to it. And I'm out of here, y'all. Here is. To smelling great. Peace.